We are now going to use the vertical line test. And the vertical line test is used because remember our definition of a function is each input has at most one output. Or in other words, each x has only one y. It can't have more than that. And a vertical line is a way of saying these are all the x values. Same x. Remember, this is an x equals 3, for instance, if this is our graph. 1, 2, 3. So how many y's do I hit with this vertical line? And so we're going to show this on a couple of graphs. We're going to start with an absolute value. And if I draw a vertical line anywhere, no matter where I draw it, especially if we can get it perfectly vertical, it only hits once. It hits once here, hits once here, hits once here, hits once here. I can't draw it anywhere and have it hit more than once. So this is a function. The circle, on the other hand, all I have to do is draw one line. And if it even crosses once, it's not a function. So this one works because no matter where I draw it, I only hit once. This one, though, there's anywhere around the circle. Because I can even draw it over here, and I don't hit it all. He doesn't help. It's only because of this one right here or any of these. Notice all these that hit in more than one place. They all stop it from being a function. Okay, so what about the sideways parabola? This is what a y squared looks like, by the way. But if I draw my vertical line anywhere, I hit there, I hit there. So this is not a function. This cubic, though, even though it looks like I hit right here, we have the assumption that it's still coming out, just and it's still going out just very slowly. And again, we go back to that. We're going to show you the only places you have to worry about if it's not on the graph. We assume it works. So there's nowhere I can hit. It looks like I can, but I still only hit in that one spot. So a cubic function is a function because it passes the vertical line test.